Hey there, Morbid Maniacs. It's time for another spooky video. And for tonight's spooky video, I am going to be reading you guys a scary story to tell in the dark. And tonight's scary story to tell in the dark is called Me Tai Doty Walker. There was a small village in the middle of a dark forest. In the village, there was a haunted house that everyone was terrified to enter. Nobody would dare stay there overnight. Legend had it that every night at midnight, a bloody, severed head fell down the chimney. One day, a rich man was passing through the village. After hearing about the haunted house, he offered a thousand dollars to whoever was brave enough to spend an entire night inside. None of the villagers would take him up on his bet until a young boy stepped forward and raised his hand. The boy announced that he would spend the night in the haunted house as long as he could bring his dog with him. The man agreed and it was settled. The next evening, the boy set off for the haunted house with his trusty dog following close behind. As he entered the dreary abode, he whistled a happy tune to calm his nerves. After doing a little exploring, he decided to make himself comfortable in the living room. He started a fire in the fireplace, then lay down on the couch with his dog and waited for morning to arrive. For a while, nothing happened. Then, a little after midnight, he thought he heard a strange noise over the cracking of the fire and the creaking of the house. It sounded like it was coming from somewhere out in the woods. Someone or something was singing a haunting tune. Me tidy doty walker, sang the eerie voice. The boy stared out the window and his hair stood on end. Maybe it's just somebody taking a shortcut through the woods, he told himself. Then his dog suddenly perked up and sang, Linchy, kinchy, collie, molly, dingo, dingo. The boy could hardly believe his ears. His dog had never uttered a word before. Now it was answering the haunting voice in the woods. He pinched himself to make sure he wasn't dreaming. A few minutes later, the boy heard the voice singing again, only this time it was closer and louder. Me tidy doty walker, sang the mysterious voice. The dog answered again, Linchy kinchy collie molly dingo dingo. This really had the boy scared. He was afraid that whoever was lurking in the woods would hear the dog singing and come to get them. A few minutes later, the boy heard the voice singing again. Now it was in the backyard. Me tidy doty walker, it cried. The dog sang back louder. Lynchy kinchy collie molly dingo dingo. A few minutes later, the boy heard the voice singing again. Now it was coming down the chimney. Me tidy doty walker, it yelled. Again, the dog sang back, Lynchy, kinchy, collie, molly, dingo, dingo. Suddenly, a bloody severed head fell down the chimney. It missed the fire and landed right in front of the dog. The dog took one look at it and fell over dead from fright. Then the head turned and stared at the boy. It slowly opened its mouth and screamed. The next morning, the rich man went to check on the boy. He found him lying on the floor of the haunted house. His hair had turned white and he couldn't stop screaming. So there you guys have it. There was my little scary story to tell in the dark. I hadn't done one of these in quite some time and I've always loved these stories for some reason. I loved reading them when I was younger and they just really spook me and get me in the mood for Halloween. As you can tell, I'm very much in the mood for Halloween. I've been in the process of actually filming Halloween videos as we speak. I'm very excited for Vlogtober. I'm gonna be uploading 31 days straight. So you guys definitely need to get prepared for that. There's gonna be a lot of awesome stuff I'm going to be filming for you guys. What do you guys think of this story? I don't, I hope it wasn't too cheesy for you guys. Um, the singing really was a little cheesy for me, but I don't know. I still like the story. I still thought that it was really creepy. And if I were the boy, I probably would have took a chance and stayed at this haunted house because that's just, that's who I am. You know, I love this horror, like creepy stuff. So I probably would have died as well, but it would have been worth it because I would have been proving that this place was actually haunted. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and become a morbid maniac. Also, if you are new, hello, my name is Melanie, and I upload creepy videos every Saturday, so be sure to stick around, and I will see you guys in my next video.